Hey, welcome to Doing Hair with Sammy. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's hair products, just hair products. But um, I'm actually not exactly sure what the name of this video, uh, this channel exactly that I want to call it. Simply because I want to make it my life in general. So, so far I made it life in general, but that may change. Being the first video, I'm doing my hair here. And I just wanted to talk while I'm doing my hair. Just so you can all, you know, get to know me some more. Just a bit before, you know, we start vlogging and stuff. I think it's very important that you get to know the people that you follow. Just so you can build some type of connection. All right. So, where are all my people from Illinois yeah, gang gang? <laughs> I'm from Joliet, Illinois. I was born and raised there for about 10 years. And then I moved to Arizona. Now, when I tell you, it was probably the best decision ever for my family to move out to Arizona. Because I've, I've definitely experienced a lot here. It's very diverse. Um, but there's a lot of different opportunities, such as jobs and such as, you know, starting your own business and so forth. So many different ways of making money out here. Um, oop. I'm trying to throw away my hair. My hair is shedding. But anyways. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it's just stuck to my fingers. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, just a really great opportunity to live out here. So I'm always trying to promote Arizona. I'm always trying to... Um, suggest that my other family members that have not moved out here yet to move out here. So far, I have my my uh, cousins out here. I got a couple cousins out here. I have my a couple uncles out here. A couple aunties. Wait, no, just one auntie. Yeah, a couple aunties. And just trying to promote, you know, more of my cousins that are very dear to me to move out here, or if not. If not move here, move somewhere else other than Joliet. Like, there's way more to explore than just Joliet. Like, Joliet is Joliet. People stay repping. Eh, eh. But it's lame. There's nothing there. There's nothing there for you. You have future to look ahead to. Not just now. Um, But, ooh, what part am I on? What did I put in here? See, this is the thing about doing natural hair. You never know, especially when you start stopping and getting busy doing stuff. Like, what did you just put in your hair? Um, I want to say this is next. Anyways. Um, yeah. So, more about me. As of right now, until I die, I am a Muslim. Assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim sisters and brothers out there. What's good? <laughs> I became Muslim about four years ago or so. Um, yeah, about four years, a little bit over four years now. I've been Muslim now. I converted over from Rastafarian, and before that, I was Christian. I was Christian for about 20 plus years of my life. I am currently 29 years old. I know I don't look it, but you know, you know about them black jeans. Not only that, but I get it from my mama. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I am now Muslim. I converted on my own decision. I don't need a man to tell me what to convert to. Nor do I need anybody else to try to force me to believe anything. It was all by my own decision. Um, Alhamdulillah, Allah guided me to his way. Um... What was I about to say? <laughs> oh, yeah. Maha. Maha. So, Maha. <laughs> I cut this thing off, like, mm, also about four years ago or so after I um, converted over to Islam. Before that, I had dreadlocks. Rastafarian. I used to sing in a reggae band right here in Arizona. Uh, we used to travel in Arizona, but still saw places around Arizona that I never even knew existed. It was very beautiful, very great experience to experience in life. Playing in a band and traveling, and just meeting other artists, musicians, and so forth. That was wonderful. 
Um, I, yeah, like I said, I had dreadlocks, cut that off. Actually, I combed it out first. It took me about two weeks to comb my dreads out. <laughs> Cause they were some fat ones and they was, oh, I swear when I tell you I had one dreadlock so long, it was like right here. Yes. When I combed it out, the length was way down there. But anyways, I cut it all off after I combed it out simply because when I combed it out, it was just completely damaged. Like there was so much damage. I couldn't get a good twist out. I couldn't get no type of good form whether it was in my afro or anything i'm tender headed so if you see me making faces that's why um i just couldn't keep anything so i was like you know what i'm just gonna cut all this off ow um <sighs> there's more to my life story as we get more comfortable and you know you getting to know me and me getting to know you and just me getting more comfortable with you two all together i'll get to explain more of my life and how it made me into the person i am today um but uh what's about to say <laughs> i always be like that what was about to say i'd be talking too much oh but yeah cut it all off here I am four years later all this hair I don't know what to do with it think about dreading it again huh <sighs> we'll see not right now but if I was to dread it again I would think after it was to possibly reach maybe <laughs> um hmm maybe my mid back uh, cause it's almost there now. Uh, maybe if it reached almost to my waist, then I might, might dread it again or put in locks or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, more about me. I love to dance. I used to be my captain of my my captain i used to be the captain one of the captains i should say let me be humble <laughs> of the of the high school of my high school dance team i used to run track i used to play basketball but my favorite thing of all was dancing i love 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 dancing still to this day i dance i want to join a dance um a dance class so stay tuned once i start vlogging some more i'll start and once stuff start opening more i think that the dance studios are open though i would love to you know um vlog some dance choreography at the dance studio i like to go hiking uh, you know i like to skate i love skating i have rollerblades i love skating so i'm gonna definitely vlog some you know skating i love um skating with my dog queen queen is her name she's a mini australian shepherd i'll vlog doing that i'll vlog at adult night when the skate ring is open mm, i'll be having a good time um so yeah, i love african music such as soca davido i love his songs like if and fall if I tell you that I love you, oh. I think that's the words. <laughs> Anyways, I just be loving the music because I just love dancing to it. Um, I love bearded dragons. Those are so awesome. I'm I can't wait to get me one of those. I'm probably yeah, I'm gonna get one. Um, maybe hmm, I used to have two. Um, probably gonna get one when I move hmm, maybe at the end of the year I'll get a bearded dragon but uh yeah uh, I'm very motivated when it comes to doing my hair <laughs> uh, not so much cause it's just ugh, look at all this I mean it's beautiful yes don't get me wrong I love it it just can be a hassle sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I 
I'm very motivated when it comes to taking care of my responsibilities. Uh, you know, I've just recently started to love to cook a lot more. Uh, so I've, I'll definitely be vlogging some cooking and... You know, maybe you can share some recipes with me that I can try. I would love to try them. Uh, how do I say? I love to go out with my sister. Me and my sister. I'll definitely share those times with my sister with you. She's a natural as well. She's been growing her hair. I want to say maybe a year longer than I have. So she's about five years in. I'm four years in. Um, so she's definitely looks just like me pretty much people always think we're twins uh, especially with our hair and just our face in general we look so much alike Whew, I'm talking way too much <laughs> excuse me <laughs> uh, some more about me I'm a naturalista for real like not only on the outside of me such as like no makeup I do wear eyeliner and mascara sometimes, but that's pretty much all I will wear when it comes to makeup. I do my, I don't do my own nails, but I'll paint my own nails or I'll shape them like I did now. They kind of look jacked up, but they look better when I have them um, painted and so, so forth. Right now, they got hair products and everything on there. It's a hot mess. Um, but yeah not only on the outside but on the inside as well i try to be natural when it comes to um feeding my soul good natural things i would like to have a better diet but um, <sighs> we know when you're struggling it's just a struggle tr trying to have a better diet because stuff just be so expensive when you're trying to eat good <laughs> but also like like i say, i'm muslim so i try to try to feed myself good stuff when it comes to my soul and my mind you know what i'm saying try to stay positive try to give people the benefit the benefit of the doubt when something may look wrong try to give them the benefit of the doubt maybe you know they um if, if somebody's looking for something they look like they sneaky or whatever trying to sneak up behind you on some creepy stuff but in actuality they might be just looking for something you know what i'm saying like or I don't know you never know things are different than what it may appear to you sometimes so you definitely got to give people the benefit of the doubt think more positive because you never know something that you may you know be looking like you up to some some sneaky stuff or whatever but you know you're you're really not on no sneaky stuff or you know just just be more positive so on the outside be um, natural on the inside be natural and just be positive um, so I am so excited to take you all along this very positive long journey yeah of course you're gonna have some negative things you can't have positive without negative it, it just it has to bounce off of each other that's just part of life good and bad you know ups and downs there's the opposite to everything However, I do want this journey to be as positive, as bright, um, as open, having an open mindset, open conversation, open uh, when it comes to the things in life that are there for us to enjoy. There's so much bad things going on in life. So I want to share all the great things that there are also able, that you are also able to enjoy in life. Um, there's so much good things that you can do. Um, just got to find them. Find those hobbies. Find those things that you like to do. Find what gives you peace of mind and stick to it. And try to just stay positive. Just, Anyways, we got this great long journey to just go forth in life. And you're going to take this with me because it's just going to be awesome. It's just going to be awesome. We have, I have so much to share. So much. I'm so excited. I really am. So stay tuned with me, Sammy, Samira, Samantha, whatever you want to call me, Sam. I'm just all around Sam. I cannot wait. This is going to be so fun. Yay! <laughs> Welcome.